The Zumo robot has three LEDs that you can control with your program. It's a really nice way of giving some quick feedback so you can see what your robot is doing. It's also about the easiest thing that you can control. So we're going to start with looking at how to control the LEDs with the robot. Now the LEDs don't show up nearly as well in video as they do in person, but you can see on the video that we've got three different LEDs, red, green, and blue. How do we control those? The program to do that is pretty simple. First off, we need to include the header file for Zumo. In fact, pretty much every program that you work with the robot is going to have to include this header file. This tells the computer what sorts of commands are available. It doesn't actually link in a separate library. That's done in a separate step, which thankfully the Arduino software takes care of for us. Next up, although not strictly necessary to control the LEDs, I am using the LCD screen. That's the liquid crystal display that's on it. Um, and to do that, I need to create an instance of this particular class, which I'm doing right here. Next, we have the setup function. This is a specially named function, has to be named exactly this, and it's run once on startup. So when we reset, when we program it, when we turn the power on, this is run once. In this particular case, I'm going to line number zero, because we're programmers, everything starts with zero, column number zero, I'm printing a few spaces and LED. Then I'm going to go to line number one, which would be the second line and printing example. So this is what puts LED example on the screen when I run this. Not strictly necessary, but I like having that on there. Next up, we have another specially named function called loop. It has to be called exactly loop, all lowercase, no parameters. It's called over and over again as the robot runs. In this particular case, the first thing it does is I call a command LED red, which is a particular command that you can see. You can find the documentation on these commands right here. I don't find all the documentation in one place. I have to do a fair bit of Googling to figure out exactly what these commands are and taking a look at the examples. Wish that wasn't the case. Anyway, um, this turns on the red LED, turns off the yellow and green LED. So basically this is red LED. Next up, I call delay. I delay for one second. These are in thousandths of a second, so delay 1000 will delay for one second. Red LED, wait a second. Now I'm gonna turn off the red LED, turn on the yellow LED. Really, you don't need to turn off the green LED because it's already turned off. And then I'm going to, again, wait one more second. So this goes red, this goes yellow, and as you can surely guess, next up, I turn on the green LED and then wait another second. And remember, this function then, once it finishes, is being called again, and I will just cycle through red, yellow, green, over and over again.